क्वेश्चन नंबर 116 ड्यूरिंग व्हिच फेज ऑफ सेल साइकिल जेनेटिक मटेरियल बिकम्स डबल द जेनेटिक मटेरियल मींस द डीएनए इन व्हिच फेज दिस डीएनए बिकम्स डबल इन द सिंथेसिस फेज सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर 2 what happens in g2 g1 we just discussed in the previous question what is quiescent phase quiescent phase is the g not phase where cells do not divide when they don't have to divide they enter in the quiescent phase let's move to the next question question number 117 given below diagram indicates early prophase no metaphase no because at metaphase there is alignment of the chromosomes at the equator anaphase no it is the transition to the metaphase means the chromosomes are about to align they are coming in the metaphase so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 for the diagrams you have to refer your ncrt because diagrams in your exams are generally taken up from your ncrt textbooks let's see the next question question number 118 in animal cells cytokinesis is achieved by cytokinesis is division of cytoplasm and in plants and animal cells the cytokinesis differ from each other how because in animal cells the cell membrane is flexible it can form the furrow and the cell can easily divide but in plant cells it cannot happen because there is a rigid cell wall which cannot move inside or outside so in animal cells the cytokinesis takes place with the help of furrow formation cell blade formation takes place in the plant cells so option number 2 and 4 are ruled out now furrow formation with the help of microfilaments or appearance of furrow with the help of microtubules no the microfilaments help in cell division you must have studied in your first chapter that is cell the unit of life that the microfilaments these they constitute the cytoskeleton important component of the cytoskeleton and they help in furrow formation during the cytokinesis of the animal cells so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 119 Societal bags of the cells are rich in acid hydrolases, basic hydrolases, hydrolytic enzymes that can digest lipids only, or the hydrolases that can digest all the biomolecules except the nucleic acids. So, societal bags of cells. What are they? They are lysosomes. They contain hydrolytic enzymes. Hence, they are called hydrolases. and these hydrolases are active at the acidic ph so the correct option is option number 1 these enzymes can digest lipids nucleic acids proteins carbohydrates all the biomolecules so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 120 which one is believed to be plant lysosome glyoxysome carries out the glyoxylate cycle with the help of which the fats are converted into the carbohydrates so this is not believed to be the plant lysosome peroxisome occurs both in plants as well as animals and they are related to the peroxide synthesis or the destruction so this is not the correct option vacuole no spherosome yes because spherosomes they contain hydrolytic enzymes hence they are believed to be plant lysosomes because lysosomes also contain the hydrolytic enzymes so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.